How do I enable Bluetooth on a motherboard? If you're wondering how to enable Bluetooth on your motherboard, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to ensure that your motherboard actually supports Bluetooth. Check your motherboard's technical specifications on the manufacturer's website to confirm this. For example, if you have an Asus RAW Strix Z790E gaming motherboard, you can find this information under the Technical Specifications section on the Asus website. Once you've confirmed that your motherboard has Bluetooth capabilities, the next step is to enter the BIOS settings. To do this, restart your computer and press the key that takes you into the BIOS setup, usually the Dell key, but it can vary depending on your motherboard model. In the BIOS, navigate to the Advanced Settings. For most motherboards, such as the Asus Z790 series or MSI B650M, you'll need to select Advanced and then find the Onboard Devices Configuration or Integrated Peripherals section. Here, you'll find the Bluetooth Controller or Bluetooth Module. Make sure it is set to Enabled. If it's set to Disabled, change it to Enabled. Save your changes by pressing F10 and then confirm to exit the BIOS settings. After enabling Bluetooth in the BIOS, you'll need to ensure that Bluetooth is also enabled in your operating system. On Windows, go to the Settings app, click on Bluetooth and Devices in Windows 11, or Devices in Windows 10, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. If you're still having trouble, check the Device Manager to ensure the Bluetooth device is enabled. You can do this by typing Device Manager in the Windows search bar, finding the Bluetooth device, and right-clicking on it to select Enable Device if it's not already enabled. Finally, make sure your Bluetooth drivers are up to date. You can do this by right-clicking on the Bluetooth device in the Device Manager and selecting Update Driver. Follow the prompts to search for and install any available updates. By following these steps, you should be able to enable Bluetooth on your motherboard and start using it to connect your devices. Remember to keep your drivers updated and your BIOS settings correct to avoid any connectivity issues.